Hey everybody, so welcome back again. I'm really trying to get these videos ironed out. I'm finally finding some ideas. So, I've seen a lot of videos where people who have the South, the South uh, Bantu people, Southern Bantu people's um, DNA, they'll have a big percentage of that. So they'll have like 45%, 39%, you know, uh, you know, maybe a little higher, you know, 25%, something like that. And you, and these are usually ancestor DNA results. So that's where they'll see them. And they'll have like 1% Vietnamese, Vietnam, Cambodia, or 1% Philippines. And they'll say, Oh, well, how did I get this blood? I wonder how I got it. You know, I don't know how that got there. Well, this is how it got there. So if you have Madagascar roots and you are Malagasy, that that um, Vietnamese or Cambodian or that 1% Phil, that Filipino is this, your Malagasy roots. That's what this is. That's what that blood comes from. And as it states, it says the Malagasy, French Malagache, that's the French term of it, are an Austronesian and Southeast African ethnic group native to the island of, of and country of Madagascar. They are divided into two subgroups, the Highlander Marina, Shina, Shihanaka, and Betsilio of the central plateau around Antananarivo. Alo, Al Alotra, but, and I'm gonna butcher these names, and Fia Narantosoa, and the coastal dwellers elsewhere in the country. So this division has its roots in historical patterns of settlement. The original Austronesian settlers from Borneo arrived between the third and 10th centuries and established a network of principalities in the central highlands region, conductive to the growing, to the, to growing the rice they had carried with them on their out trigger canoes. Okay, so when they say Austronesian guys, they mean like Pacific Islander or Filipino, Vietnamese, stuff like that. That's what they mean when they say Austronesian. So that's where your blood comes, that's where the blood comes from. Um, and we can go to Austronesian peoples, which Austronesian peoples are the Austronesian peoples or more accurately, Austronesian-speaking peoples are a group of various peoples in Southeast Asia, Oceania, and East Africa that speak Austronesian languages. Key in on Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia or South Southern Asia is a subregion of Asia, consisting of the countries that are geographically south of Japan, Korea, and China, east of India, west of Papua New Guinea, and north of Australia. Southeast Asia is bordered to the north by East Asia, to the west by South Asia, and the Bay of Bengal. To the east by Oceania and the Pacific Ocean and to south by Australia and the Indian Ocean. Okay, so we'll go to, let's say, um, countries, 11 states. So, let me see. So, where is it? They really don't want to show it. Um, really. Okay, so Negrito, I guess, I mean, that can go back, but anyways, what I'm trying to say is that is why you have that blood in you, 1% or not, it is there because of this. Mainland Southeast Asia, here we go, so mainland Southeast Asia, also known historically as Indochina, comprising parts of Eastern India. Uh, in which India stretches from South Asia to Southeast Asia, because India is South Asia. Uh, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, Myanmar, and West Malaysia. This is why you have that blood. So if you have Malagasy roots, most likely if you have a big percentage of that blood, or if you have that blood at all, now it's not always going to be the case that just because you're from Southeastern Bantu peoples or South Southern Bantu peoples that you're going to have Malagasy blood. You're just somewhere in that region, but if you have Philippines or something like that, which won't always show up in every DNA test. It won't show up in every DNA test. Just because it doesn't show up on Ancestry doesn't mean you have it. It may show up on another DNA test. 
you know. But when that's why you have it because of that, because that's a mixture of uh, the people, and, and and because of history and stuff, that mixture is there, um, and because of just genetics, that's also another reason why that history is there. If you come here. It says, the people of Madagascar have a fascinating history embedded in their DNA. 17 known slave ships came from Madagascar to North America during the transatlantic slave trade. As a result, we find Madagascar DNA in the African American descendants of enslaved people, often of Southeast Asian origin. So, um, what is it? One of, the, one of the goals of this project is to discover the Malagasy roots of African Americans and connect them with their cousins from Madagascar. And then please join us in this inciting endeavor. Anyways, that was just more information. And if you go to like Malagasy Roots, Radiant Bordica branches. Um, oh, I love doing this history with you guys. Oh my goodness. I love I love taking you guys with me through this research. But this has to be researched. This has to be shown. Of course, there's more research that goes into stuff like this, but I just love it. Doing it with you guys. Okay. So I'm gonna try to find something towards what I'm talking about. So like it says, this blog post is dedicated to, to all my ancestors and to my M23 cousins who, de who decided to take mtDNA and autosomal DNA tests that have enabled us to reconnect with our DNA cousins who, sh who share our Native American, Malagasy, West African, European ancestry and find out, find out our true family history. And this is to another family. This isn't to like, me or anything, but this is still information on people who have Malagasy roots. When they talk about Native American and Malagasy, the Native American can go to the Austronesian, the... Asian and stuff like that um, so that's just really interesting um, and that and again that just goes to why you have it um, let me see early colonial native native and African American um, this is really just going into slip more slavery and kind of how maybe more mixing happened. Now, Roots revealed... Ooh, so um, I'm going to be totally honest. This site right here is actually my cousin Melvin's site. So this is some of my family. I believe so. I believe this is some of my family long ago. But this is where my... This is like my Madagascar Roots right here. So this is actually, my cousin has his own website, Melvin J. Collier, as you can see him right there. That's my cousin. And uh, yeah, and this is the story of our Madagascar, uh, Madagascar um, story, more on it. Um, I would love to actually do a video on this because plus you guys love the video I did on the Southern Bantu peoples and Madagascar and all that. So maybe I will go on this website on Roots Revealed and do um, a video on it. But this is my family. I don't know, not now. I don't know who exactly in this photo is my family, but I know that this is part of my family. So, um, yeah. Yep. See you guys later. I hope this was informative.